Hello and welcome guys. Today we will understand about the incoming MT103 against the outgoing MT103. So what, what, what exactly we will understand over here is when a MT103 is sent from a sender bank to a receiver bank, how would your block 2, block 1 look like? And same way, the same message when it is received at the receiver end how would it look like in block 1 and block 2 so we will understand deep about it because this is very important for us to understand the input and output identifier that actually helps to understand from where exactly the message has come up and how the message has to taken care in the system when it arrives so let's get started with our popular example we'll take a uh, direct payment example all right so here we have from as usual he has account in SPI and Bombay and he wants to transfer a fund to his friend who is living in USA and the bank he is having account is City US. All right, and finally, here is our Sam who receives the payment. Right, so now, uh, when Ramin said. When gives an instruction to insert a payment to uh, SBI India Bombay, what this particular bank it will do is it will initiate a MT103 transaction. Having said that, we have already informed, I've already informed that this is a direct payment where only one MT103 is more than enough for the payment settlement because they will have the accounting relationship and. One empty one zero three is more than enough to settle the funds from the rostro accounts at city US. So let's understand the empty one zero three which is sent at SBI end end empty one zero three sent from SBI and Bombay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll further extend to it so that it looks quite easier for us to understand. Here we go. Three. I'll just divide it into two sections. One is MT one zero three sent from SBI and Bombay. MT one zero three received at city us right we would understand both the messages one by one let's get started so let's frame our uh, message mt103 in terms of words being bb let's say uh, it has account one two three four five address Kurmangla Bangalore 
0.0078 and enter. Same way Sam has account in city US, let's say 9876-5432 and Sam's address is 123 district. New York two zero zero one two US this is the address of it. Right, so this is the address of it. Now let's understand the NT one zero three which is from SPN and Pomber perspective. So, as usual, we'll start with the block one. That is nothing but our basic header block, and it will contain uh, the block ID one, followed by F, that is application ID and zero one, and then uh, the sender bank. In terms of uh, here, we can see it's a uh, S B I N B B. Let's take it to triple X. Some session ID one two three four and so on. Let's let's close it over here. We, that those things are not important over here right now. So let's take the big quiz right now. The block two it will start with you. And here, uh, very important if it is an input or output identifier. So when SBA and Bombay is sending it. Here in block two, it will be I. That means uh, it will be input to this particular pick from the Swift perspective, right? So here, uh, in this case, we will have CT. Okay. Uh, before that, after I, the message type should be here. That is our MT one zero three. So I one zero three, and the big CT. US three three triple X followed by some numbers and sequence session numbers and date and uh, other stuff so will be there in block two. But important thing what we need to understand is this part SPA and BB triple X then this input output identifier message type and then the receiver back. And then block three will be. It will start with uh, one to three. This is nothing but the bank priority code, and then EBA or something whichever whatever the clearing house you are using, and then you have ABC anything, and the message type. Let's say it is STP plus. That is the actual process without uh, falling into any manual cues and all. So this becomes a block three and then block four starts. And in block four we know how to write uh, 20 that is a transaction number reference number that is MT103 SBINBB you can write anything it is derived it will be derived from the bank's perspective and then 32A 32A we know that uh, it is a validate why we MMTD Today is 28 September.
33B that is the instructed amount let's assume that instructed amount is $100 um, instructed amount is $100 now which is equals to rupees Seven thousand five hundred. Exchange rate is one dollar equals to seventy five. So thirty three P would be USD hundred zero zero. And thirty six is nothing but our exchange rate that is I N R and this becomes 75 zero, zero. basically when you multiply this 100 33 into 36 ideally you should get the interbank settlement amount if there is no charges involved in it if there is any charges involved in it for example then then it will be subtracted you will understand that in a later part of our videos so let's assume that this is a our charges and then this will become 7500 then we have 50k of basically the ordering customer details round details so let's start with the account number one two three four five name is round address code mangla bangalore in code five six zero seven eight and india similarly we have 52a again Important and mandatory tag that is nothing but S B I N Bombay. X. If it is required, if it is not, then it is fine. Um, and then 52A followed by our 57A. Now 57A is a complete institution that is the US US 33. Let's say it's Francis. This one. All right, and then we have 59, which is the information of the receiver, and the account details is 9876543 at this one, two, three, this three, New York, then go to 00012, followed by US, then. 59 is there. Um, we have that 70. Some info 71. A that is our so not required to have the 71 C and that's 72 A back to bank information. Back to bank. Info. Oh, I have a for this. I think we can assume it. This is how the MT103 from SBIN Bombay perspective it will be sent via which this is a SWIFT network. We just don't forget this MT103 is sent via SWIFT network. This is a SWIFT network. Right? Now, once a SWIFT receives and sends it to the CTUS bank, how will it look like the MT103? Let's understand that one. This is very important as I say. Now, let's get started. Let's create. So, block one, F01 here. Uh, from this bank's perspective, block one will remain the CTUS itself. It will not be the SPIN. Bombay since it has received that city US block one will be city US let's say three three triple X and the block two here it will be output this is where exactly we have to understand this this is how you will derive it who is a sender and who is a receiver now O followed by 103 
and then it will be since it is O it is S P I N from P triple X. Now as I say when MD103 is received as CTU as co banking system, the message will look like this block one CTU is 333 triple X and block two is B and Bombay triple X. But the input output identifier O resembles that uh, it has been sent from SBI and Bombay Triple X out from SBI and Bombay Triple X, right? And earlier, this uh, this resemble I means input to the CTU S3 Triple X. This is output from SBI and Bombay Triple X. It's quite easy to understand that, right? So, this is very important for us to see for in order to understand. The message is sent from which bank right so uh, that that's the important part and let's get started with the other block 3103 three, EBA and all the stuff will remain the same and let's start with the block 4 20 will remain the same And and this all those things right I and mean, from here to here it will be just replicated here. Right? So same information will be available and this is how it would look like in the city US uh, banks co banking system and this is how you would determine the incoming and outgoing MT103 from a Swift label. So the topic, I'll just skip it over here. Outgoing MT103 versus incoming MT103. So this is all about about the outgoing versus the incoming MT103 today and this is all for today and we will get back with the new topic interesting topics thank you all for watching these videos